How does it shoot? Shoots like a striped assay. <laughs> okay. Shoots great. It's the most accurate rifle I've ever shot. It's the most accurate rifle I've ever shot. Hi, I'm David Tubb. I want to talk to you today about the new Tubb gun. This is a dynamic target rifle. It's been over 17 years of design and development since the previous rifle, which was a Tub 2000. And we start, let's start from the front. Uh, we have the new Tub bipod, which was introduced this year. It makes the versatility of this rifle even more useful simply because it's adjustable. It's got a lot of cant variation to it. The legs get wider. Typically, uh, the more non-symmetrical you use it, you'll notice it's not a symmetrical bipod like the rest of them covered with a, the four-end tube is round Picatinny rail sections. They're not rough to your hand. No more key mod sections. No more add here, take away there. It's full of Picatinny rail sections, so it'll adapt to whatever you want to use. And that all runs into the receiver, the integral receiver, uh, made out of 70 series aluminum for the tub gun. And this, this rifle uses barrel extensions, kind of like an AR-10. And so when you have the barrel extension screwed on the back of the barrel, it fits into the receiver. And so consequently, this is about 175% stiffer as this action uh, than a normal Remington. Uh, and the thing that makes the heart of this thing work so well is what we call stable bolt technology. That means our lugs, our bolt, and the back end of it, uh, of the bolt, uh, all tend to center themselves simply because you've got concave, convex surfaces on the lugs. You've got a square sear on the trigger and on the cocking piece, uh, and you've got a bushing, spring-loaded bushing on the back. So when you close the bolt, everything aligns itself or wants to center itself. So consequently, this rifle will undoubtedly be the most accurate rifle you ever own simply because it's got a better designed action that repeats itself time and time again and obviously holds the cartridge straight. It's got an integral Picatinny rail down the top, 20 MOA. We use a machine magazine box in the in the in the system. We no more stamp magazine boxes. A machine magazine box lets you have the same box if you buy one today or you buy one a year from now. You're going to get the same box, made the same dimensions. The box is tunable for the cartridge length you want to use. So basically, the box will hold 10 308s. I'm sorry, the box will hold 13 308s, 10 284s, and seven uh, short mags and uh, six Lapua mags or uh, Norma mags. The box allows you the multiple use of all those cartridges and of course the bolt head on the bolt is replaceable for varying diameters of cartridge head like a 308 or like a Magnum or like a uh, Norma Magnum which gets a little bit bigger so you can use all three of those cartridge bases in this rifle with this mag box. Uh, the, the trigger is our T7 T two-stage trigger. It's without peer. It's adjustable from ounces to pounds, and <clears throat> you can tune it like a fitted suit. Uh, when you go a little further back down, you'll notice we're using one of these tub pistol grips on it. The, the stock that comes out the back has a, a, a 3D printed cheek piece and it was switched swivels and goes up and down. The back end has a clamping block, much like the old tub gun, so it's allow it allows you to position it in a 360 degree fashion to fit your shooting style. And then to top it all off, it has a folding stock, so the stock will fold back to the left, out of the way, either to clean it and or to carry it. All in all, this rifle will be a multiple caliber use rifle for you so that when you want to rebarrel, you send off your barrel and your barrel extension to your gunsmith. You don't send the rifle off. You will keep it here the whole time. So if I owned one of these, I'd have four or five barrels, two or three bolt heads, and I would have the caliber that I desire to shoot at my fingertips, basically, because it doesn't take very long to change it from caliber to caliber to caliber. Look for it on the web, davidtub.com.